That question implies that if you could go anywhere, you would go in order, there first and then there. But maybe that's the wrong question. Maybe what we should do instead is build a capacity to go anywhere. You, so, so we build a, a warehouse of rocket boosters. And so you're a scientist and you want to study life on Mars. That's three boosters plus this rocket plus this rover and this experiment. Go. I would go back to the Big Bang. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to be disappointed if we find any kind of life anywhere. It, it might be disappointing if we go to Europa and dig a hole and look down and there are goldfish there. <laughs> that, maybe, okay, no, it would be interesting. How did they get there? That would be an interesting question to ask, but it would still be kind of disappointing. You kind of want something more exotic than anything we have here on Earth. Whenever we discover alien life, I don't think the world will be ready at all. So we would have to grow accustomed to it. Now, alien life of bacterial, microbial, I, I don't think people will freak out by that. But if we discover alien life that's smarter than we are, people will freak out. It will signal a change in the human condition that we cannot foresee or imagine. I think what I would hope is that it is so much more intelligent than we are that they actually have enacted on that difference. And that in fact, Earth is their zoo for humans. <laughs> Consider that if you have an ant farm at home, does the ant know that it's in a... No, it's because you're smarter than ants. So they're just doing their thing. Oblivious to the fact that they are in some simulation that you have created of their home. So for all we know, we are already the subjects of study of intelligent aliens. And I think maybe the aliens get bored, and so they make things happen and they disturb the politics in some way, where everybody gets inflamed. That might be more interesting for the aliens. <laughs>
It's less than one half of 1% of this dollar. You think they're spending a lot of money because of how visible the discoveries are. Those people? Who would they have been 10, 20,000 years ago? Let's think. I know who they would be. We'd all be in the cave, and you look outside and you say, oh, there's a mountain there, there's a valley, there's a river, there are hills. I'd like to go explore. No, we have cave problems. We need to solve the cave problems first. Then you can go out and explore. That's what those people sound like to me. <laughs> There's no journey too far when you have the ship of the imagination. <laughs>